right, Jay. Hope you're having a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Tomorrow's 4th of July, and we're gonna be celebrating our U.S. independence tomorrow. So I want you guys to be safe and have a lot of fun with your family and enjoy the time you have together. I wanna to make you guys a cocktail called the Watermelon Sangria. Really refreshing, super easy to make. I thought it'd be kind of festive for 4th of July. Just refreshing and a, a great, um, easy to make um, adult cocktail beverage for you guys to enjoy with your friends and family. So, super easy. This is gonna be a cocktail that we blend together using a blender. So let me show you the ingredients. You can double this recipe and it's gonna get you about a, a, a pitcher size. So I just scaled it down because I didn't need so much for my video, but I did half of that. I'm gonna use two cups of cubed fresh watermelon. We're gonna just put that into our, um, our blender. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use two fresh squeezed limes, fresh lime juice. The third ingredient I'm gonna use about a cup of um, a white rum, a favorite rum of your choice. One cup of rum. Oh, that smells great. I love, love the smell of rum. And then the full recipe calls for about 750 milliliters, which is in your typical wine bottle. And this is a Moscato. And a Moscato is an Italian wine. It's one of the oldest white wines that's been around for longer than most varietals of wine. So the main recipe would call for an entire bottle, 750 milliliters. In one bottle, you have about 3.17 cups. So I just cut it in half and I'm gonna do about a cup and a half of Moscato. So I'm doing about one and a half cups of Moscato Italian white wine. So those are our main ingredients that go into here. So we're gonna blend this together. I recommend keeping your ingredients as cold as possible. Before you serve this, I would probably put it in the, uh, well, after you blend it, you can put it in the freezer or the put it in the refrigerator and get it really cold. Or you can serve it with some ice cubes. But anyways, this cocktail is best, this adult beverage is best if you chill it. So let's blend this, blend it up. You're gonna get some glasses, um, whatever kind of fun, you know, festive 4th of July glasses you wanna use. I'm just gonna use these uh, stemless wine glasses. And we're gonna pour our cocktail, watermelon sangria, into the glass. And again, to make this chilled, you can serve it over ice or just put it in the refrigerator. Cause the colder this is, the better it's gonna taste. So you can see this makes about like two to three glasses. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna garnish. We're gonna use some blueberries. And this is kind of fun, especially with like 4th of July, you get a little bit of red, white, blue going on here. So pretty cool. And you can just, and they're kind of fun as you're drinking the drink, you get some of those blueberries in your mouth. Now my daughter has just went and cut these, um, these little stars out of watermelon. They just use a little cookie cutter and they're super easy to make, but I just thought they'd be kind of Kind of cool looking and fun to put on the, um, the side of your drink here. So let's just put a little star on there. That's it guys. The watermelon sangria. Let's give it a try. Oh, really, really, really good. Super refreshing. Not overly sweet. You don't need to put any other sugar or anything in here. It's sweet enough the way it is. And again, I want to wish you guys a happy 4th of July. Have a lot of fun and be safe with your families. Cheers, salute. If you like my, um, my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button and ring the bell. So when I make new videos, you can get notified. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Independence Weekend. Cheers.